let's write the smart contract for the government and that we're going to keep the information about the citizens so let me provide the general conventions we have to take the soyety version and that we are using 8.0 version so make sure you should go with the higher one not with the lower one otherwise you will have an error let's define our contract and we'll call it government in that we have to take a couple of state variables because we have to store the information about the citizens their address okay so let's take a variable called address it's going to be an array type public and citizen so in that we go to keep addresses of the citizen let's come down here we're going to take another array in that we're going to keep the address of the official so the second we have is the address of the paper so the one who will deploy the contract means the government is the owner of the contract now we have to take the mapping and we have to map with the is official so this will return that whether the address we are providing is an official or a citizen so that's we are keeping in track with this mapping let's come here and here we have to create our constructor and we don't need to pass anything any data in that all we have to do is to simply update the owner and we have to make it payable because if it can receive any financial support so it can do that in a way so this is our constructor and now let's create the functions so the very first function we have in the contract is registered as a citizen okay so with this function user uh, the citizen can register themselves into this contract so just imagine that recently in covid government allowed the citizen to register themselves for the vaccinations so that kind of process we are building here okay it's going to be a public so anybody anybody can call this function inside so that we have to do a couple of check and that will not allow official to register themselves as a citizen okay so that's the one check we have to do so is official the message dot sender so whoever is calling this function if we have his address in the officials array that means he's an official not in a citizen so we have to throw this error message cannot register as a citizen already registered as a official hope this makes sense so once we fulfill this condition we'll come down and here we have to simply update our array so we have this citizen array and then we're going to push the address and this is the very first function for the registration you can keep more information so if you can keep the name you can keep the address date of birth a lot of things you can keep in this array but for the simplicity we are going with the address okay but when you will build in the actual real world project you're going to take more data from the from the citizen okay so this is the first function now let's come here we have to build the second function and that we have to call it registration registration for the official because we have done with the citizen now let's do for the officials so the same logic we have to follow here we have to check for the conditions that this time only officials are allowed not the citizen so we have to throw this error message if a citizen try to register themselves by calling this function and then we have to simply push this entire data in the official array so this is the registration for the officials and then we have to simply say this to true because that's what we are mapping in our mapping okay is official so we have to turn it to true so once we're done with that and that's pretty simple hope it makes sense to all of you guys now let's move to that and the third function we have in the contract is vote so citizen can provide their vote so in that we have to say candidate public in that we have to check for the condition that official dot message dot sender so official cannot vote so only citizens are allowed to vote not the officials and here we have to take the another check that official candidate cannot must be registered as a official so that's the simple check that the candidate who's registering themselves they are not the officials this is the pretty simple things okay i believe it makes sense to all of you but we are not doing anything into this function i just built this function that you can do a lot of things by using this functions in the contract if you want to organize voting or if you want to receive funds or if you want to provide any special privilege to that candidate for the vote you can include that so that's why i've keep this in empty so now let's write the fourth function which is called propose law okay and that we have to pass the string and we have to take this proposal public so anybody can call this proposal and then we have to check for the statement so official dot message and sender only officials can propose law okay so we don't want to take any proposal from the candidate but we want to take from the officials because what happened in the normal legislative system only officials and representatives are allowed to take any decision in the government or in the, any institution so they have the right because they are the selective members so they can take the proposal and they can go with that okay 
So that's the first check we are doing. Let's come here. And again, I'm keeping this function empty. So you can include your logic into this. Now, this is the proposal law function. Let's come down and we have to write one more function, enact law. It's same in that we have to take this memory proposal and in that we have to do the check. So message.sender is not the honor. <coughs> message.sender is equal to honor. Only honor can enact law. Okay, so this function will allow to make the proposal come to live only owner can make the proposal live again i'm leaving it for you as a challenge to build the logic around this okay so i'm telling you what are the things you have to include and that's why this time i'm not including the functionality i want you to do the hard work and do a practice so this is the fifth function we have let's come down we have to create one more function get officials that's pretty simple so it's going to be an array type and that's not really hard all you have to do is to return the entire array this will give us the officials and now we have to build the function for getting the citizen so it will tell you that number of citizen we have in the contract and we'll get all the addresses of the citizen okay so hope this entire thing makes sense to all of you guys let's come here we have to write one more function called grant access so if you want to provide any access you can do that okay so payable user public and that we have to do the check so the check we want to do is that message.sender is equal to the owner because only he can allow the access okay and once we provide the access we have to simply update the address of the owner and that looks pretty fine let's come here we have to take another function called revoke access so once you provide an access in the contract you need to have a function which allow them to revoke the access so in that we're going to pass this user public and the same thing we have to do here we have to check for a condition that the person is calling this function is an honor if it's not the honor then we have to throw this error message and here we have to simply and here we have to check for another condition that the person is calling the function is not the honor cannot revoke access for the current honor that looks fine and then we have to simply update the data of the honor now let's move to the last function to destroy the contract so destroy will public and will allow only access to the owner to destroy the contract because he has the authority to do that okay let's simply destroy and call this method so i believe this entire contract makes sense in this contract you have seen that i have leave couple of function empty so i want you to build the logic you have to include all of this functionality into the contract and you have to build a data model because this is a really good practice for you to enhance your smart contract development and that you have to build the entire data model that what are the data you want to take from the citizen what are the data you want to take from the officials how you want to conduct the vote how the transfer will happen how the official will get registered so whatever function we have included you have to test all of this this is the entire smart contract we have written for the government agency okay so we have the state variables we have the constructor we have the citizen registration function official registration function we have the vote function we have the proposal law function we have the enact law function we have get officials get citizen grant access revoke access and the destroy so we have written so many functions into this contract but you have noticed one thing in this contract that we haven't built the logic for the entire smart contract and that's i want to give you as a challenge okay so let me show you that everything is working fine so let's come here and let's deploy the contract this is the only contract we have click on this deploy the transaction went through and if you open the logs here you will find all the function we have created you can see that all of these state variables has a public keyword that's why we are getting some getter function so you can click right now you will have empty everything is empty so this is the function we have for the registration for the citizen you can see this is the function and this is the function we have for the officials right now we are not passing any data into this so i want you to write the logic okay write a logic in that you have to take the information about the users like their id their addresses their name their relationship okay i want you to build a complex data model in that you have to keep the track of the current person and you have to keep the track of the two of his generation okay dada papa okay father and grandfather so these are the three types of data you will take okay and each of these data will come in the form of group so there is a one set of data for the user there is another set of data for the parents and the other set of data from the grandparents okay so it's going to be a huge and complex data model so just design that and do let me know in the comment section okay so this is for the citizen this is for the official so if you look at the government organization or if you look at to the any centralized organization so 
people the employees or you can call it people they have certain designation in that okay they have certain role so you have to think as an authoritarian so you are working in a company what are the designation you have what are the roles you have what are the areas you handle what are the controls you have in the company what are the decisions that you make okay so all the data you have to take about this official and you have to design the data in that way so the first data for the official would be like the personal information the second data would be like in the company he worked in the past and the third set of data is that in the company is working currently and what are the project he's working on okay so this one is also going to be the complex one so design the model in that way so we are done with this we are done with this so we are done with the citizen we have done with this officials and now we have this vote okay and we have this vote function so with this vote function you can create two type of voting one voting you can create within the organization so there is a precedent or the employees so if you want to conduct a vote for the any particular place you can do with that and in case of government authority so you can take it into the sense of like uh, just imagine that you are conducting a small voting okay small voting where you want to elect any person so in that way you can create that voting and you have to think that what kind of data structure would be what 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 type of data structure you will design for the voting process okay and the entire data the entire data of this smart contract that would be relevant with each other okay so this one is going to be a very complex one as i told you that in the in the past two smart contract tutorial i have give you a hint that how to structure how to think about the data i hope this will those two video will help you so this is the law proposal function we have in the contract and that what we are focusing we are allowing official to make any law for the citizen okay so all the data is relevant with each other and this is for the getting the information about the official that how many officials we have this is for getting the citizen same this is going to access so if you are the head of the organizations and if you want to grant the access to someone else to make a decision on behalf of you so you can make this function and this is the for revoking that access okay this one is a pretty common function you will find in most of the contracts and this is the self destruct function because this contract is for the particular event okay if you want to initialize any elections or if you initialize any event in that scenario you will build this contract you will perform all of these actions you will take the participation you will take the higher authority you will take the vote you will take the proposals you will take the okay you will going to enact the law and you will get the data of each one of this okay so hope this entire thing makes sense so i just want you to sit for a while try to understand the entire smart contract and try to rebuild the entire data structure because here you can see that we are simply storing this data you have to utilize the data in such a way you can utilize in e other other function okay and i want you to write down the data model which you are building in the comment section so other can follow that and we'll try to build an application on top of this okay so i'll get enough functionality from your end then i will put my effort and i'm going to redesign the entire contract so we can later we can utilize it okay so must tell you to rebuild this one and try to do the practice if you really want to be good in the smart contract so make sure to save the playlist because all the video will go in that we will have close to 60 plus video on this smart contract project where we're going to pick different different industry and we'll try to design different different model and i'm going to give you this kind of challenge throughout this entire playlist so hope you guys will learn a lot with that i'm ending this video see you in the next video have a wonderful day